Okay, before we uh, move on to the uh, client world and the server world, uh, we need to do a few more things. Uh, we have our server uh, up listening to port 3000 and when the user requests the home page we return the index.html file. But how do we um, know like someone's on the page? Like, uh, So this person requested uh, this person goes to the home page, he requests uh, uh, the, the home page, and so we return the, the index. And so, like, how do we know that someone's there? Well, for that, we're going to um, gonna use socket.io for like real time management. Server. Um, and going to add a function. Uh, we're, well, there's a, a built-in function to uh, socket that allows us to uh, detect that connection. Um, so when they connect, we can call console.log a user is connected. And uh, there's another special function for disconnecting. We'll call socket dot on disconnect. And on the right, you'll see that like I have um, other code there. That code will be on GitHub. So if you you're comfortable with um, without these tutorials, then that's that's available. So this will detect whether if someone disconnected from the server and um, will print out on this console uh, a user disconnected. Okay, so let's try this. Ghost. And here we have a user connected. Okay, let me minimize this. A user disconnected. So yeah, um, I think that's good. We can now create our JavaScript files. So let's create a directory. Let's call it uh, JS. And within that directory, create um, client world uh, .js. And another one called server world.js. So the idea is to have um, the client uh, see the actual scene, the actual 3.js scene, and the back end, which will be the server world, that will uh, have the information of where the player is. So the server is going to determine things like uh, the player's location, the player's rotation, um, and, and other things like that. Basically the player information. And it's going to send that to the client world um, because I, I read somewhere that it's, it's better for um, player information to be kept in the back end so that it's uh, less accessible, like it, it, you can't hack, like you can't just Increase your speed to infinity or whatever. Um, on the if it's if it's on the client end. Okay. Um, so the client world. What is that going to look like? That's going to look like the three uh, .js scene. So it's going to be like 3D. So on GitHub, I wrote this template file for um, the basic setup for 3.js. Uh, I'm not going to explain it. But um, <laughs> yeah, there's there's some tutorials out there that uh, do some good explanation. This is just a template that I thought would be convenient for other people to like have access to. So we have this template. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, I wrote it all in HTML. So let me just delete this. 
delete the HTML part and just leave um, leave the JavaScript. So if you didn't see what I did there, uh, just rewind. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so we have a variable up here, and so uh, add objects to the scene here. Uh, this is where you just create and add objects to the scene. So here there's going to be um, a sphere in the scene and a cube. And let's see. Well, we need uh, the library, the 3.js library. So we're going to add that in the end index here. So shift source. And I have it saved here. JS library now. Okay, so we also need to um, have this index file. This is going to be the first page the user is going to see. We need that to have the world, the the client world. So we're going, we're just going to have a reference to the client world. Um, so it's in the JavaScript um, directory, uh, client world .js. And close that. So now we have our client world in um, our main page. Well, not really, um, because well, there's there's a problem with this because um, even though we're re requesting this um, client world uh, .js, the server uh, only knows how to respond to requests uh, that as for the home page. So what we need to do is um, have uh, have the server be able to return the world .js if the user requests from it for, for it uh, from the home page. So let's write this function response okay so you can try it without without this um, but I, it didn't work when I tried it. Um, okay, so now we have that. Okay, so what we're going to do next is create a variable called load world. We're going to set it equal to a function because you can do that in JavaScript. all the way down. We're going to include all of this in our function. And WebStorm is really cool. It just indents it for you. It's really cool. So all of the JavaScript that we took from the template file is now within this load world variable, except for these these um, gl global variables that we'll, we'll just leave up there. So actually now we can uh, create our world. Well, we can create it, should create it, well, we, we can only create it actually within our um, socket on connect, within our callback function for this. So load world. Okay, so what is this? Um, well, when the user connects, this function is going to be called, and it's going to call back this, this 
callback function, and this function is going to call load world, which is within our client world uh, JS file, which is here. Um, even though this page requests it, uh, it, you can't. The server is not going to return it unless you have this. But yeah, okay. Um, let's try this out. Okay, listening to port. Hmm, there's something wrong. We'll go over it in the next video. Actually, instead of uh, doing it in the next video, let's figure out what's wrong here. So let's go ahead and first delete this hello world nonsense. And let's look at our client world. I think you know what's wrong. So here we're creating a container um, that's getting an ID, uh, an, just an HTML tag with ID container. And we actually don't have that here in our HTML. So let's go ahead and create um, what I meant to have in here, which is a div element with an ID container. Okay, um, that should be good, I think. So let's go ahead and just run. Listening to the port. Okay, awesome. That's our scene. Uh, we see this. We can get rid of that by going here. And I don't know where they usually put the style. Uh, I think maybe after the header. The head. Let's type body. Uh, margin zero, zero pixels. Um, overflow uh, none. Uh, I guess it's not in the head. It's not displaying. Right. Let me check. Okay. Oh my gosh, sorry. Okay. Um let's see how it looks. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I spelled still wrong. There we go, that's better. Now let's refresh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Overflow hidden. Okay, that's cool. So sorry. <laughs> I did it. Uh, it's hilarious. Okay. Um, zero pixel margin. What could be wrong still? Okay, I'm gonna figure out what's wrong. Okay, nothing was wrong, so let's, yeah, we, we kept that the same. Uh, we saved, and we go here, and you don't see the scroll bars anymore. And we have our two uh, objects, the square, okay. Okay, so in the next uh, video, we'll talk about um, the player and maybe some server world stuff. Okay, thanks.